Good evening, I'm Todd Coons. And I'm Linda Larson. Our top story tonight, a special agent from the FBI was back on the stand today in the Chad Daybell trial. The courtroom was full today and at one point, members of the gallery had to be moved to ensure that they were not able to see the graphic photos that were shown to the jury. Special Agent Steve Daniels, who is a member of the evidence response team, told the jury about how they found JJ's body buried by a tree on Chad Daybell's property. It was covered with pieces of wood and large stones. The public cameras were then shut down as the prosecution showed those graphic photos of how JJ's body was carefully exhumed. His body was wrapped in several layers of plastic and duct tape. His wrists and ankles were bound. So once we made the, the cut with the razor blade to that black outer plastic, we found that there was a white uh, plastic wrapped around whatever was inside the, the shape that we thought was the skull. Okay. And, Agent, what did you observe here? So once I made the cut on the white plastic, and again, it was tight against the, the head that was inside. So we pulled it up, I pulled it up, made the cut, trying to not disturb as, as much forensic evidence as possible. But as I made that cut, the, the human hair that you can see on the top of that photo started coming out as I made that cut. And that's the point where we knew these are the human remains and these remains become J.J. Vallow's remains. And that's the point where we, this ends up becoming J.J. Vallow's uh, burial site. J.J.'s grandpa, Larry Woodcock, was in court today. He wiped away tears as Daniels talked about removing J.J.'s body. Kay Woodcock, J.J.'s grandmother, was not in the courtroom today because of the graphic testimony.